Let's start crafting the armor then. Make that, make that, make that, and make that. That is literally enough for a second floor, if you like. And just in case. Okay, here goes our five leather. We can now finally craft, craft the cleaver. Now we have two cleavers, but mainly we're going to be using spears. Also going to bring a machete or katana. It's going to crouch attack zombies in bunker. I don't know what to do with the minigun though. Do we use it or save it for something? We're going to bring a lot of berries. I'm literally bringing my wool food box in bunker. Don't need the bandages, I think. Just beans. Make Bring some water. Let's take the finger. You guys, good, good. You remember my memory forgets. But now the finger, just like that. This will be used for the bunker to open the good crate or like mediocre loot but you're gonna get like copper bars from it or something might as well get a gun from opening but we'll see what do we get guys i'm stupid we did not bring the card and you know nobody tell me dude don't forget to bring bunker alpha card guys to bunker because if you're like me guys and you don't bring the bunker card you will not be able to enter it but hey analyze it's open and of course you can loot this guy but i advise to not loot him leave uh him here for that extra five slots if you care like this and it's gonna stay it won't disappear feels like now let's loot these lockers these lockers are gonna have a lot of stuff anyways if you guys did not know you can have one dead body here so if you die of thirstiness here you're gonna have a dead body but make sure you have full inventory of it and it's better if you have more slots like a military backpack a tactical backpack and if you die here come back you can use that dead body as a chest there you go that's how you do it boom now you can have one dead body per map so if you die elsewhere it's not gonna disappear just saying let's keep on looting though holy who the fuck is that guy uh someone gas we get another glock so now we have two glocks for free i advise to save them don't do anything with them just save them save it thank you for the bunker code by the way oh yeah if you forget the bunker code just join the last nerve discord search up bunker code boom you will know what's the bunker code instantly like this boom but yeah guys don't worry about the body disappearing i mean it's not gonna disappear as long as you don't die again here so you're chilling now let's actually get to doing the bunker dude we need we got a crowbar here might as well take that we're gonna heal with berries we're gonna be doing only second floor i think which though it's not worth doing second floor should i just do third floor instead anyways the first enemy you meet is this guy just crouch a tent with a good weapon. I mean, the paddle does more damage, so I can just slap him like that. Boom. Go on. Doesn't even get to hit me. Now, since we got the finger, which is, I did not bring. Yeah, I left my finger in this body, so... Get this from Convoy event. And it's not guaranteed to get it, by the way, I think. So make sure you guys always do Convoy event for that cut finger. You open up this door. Open up this thing. Open up. Open up the box. What do we get? What are we gonna get? Boom. We get a Glock. Some bandages very nice very juice we're not gonna we're gonna, not gonna use the glock we're gonna save it but very nice that can sit here for now i'm gonna loot it later also this will always give you a green ticket or a yellow ticket i'll, I'll always loot this i mean just loot it boom green ticket five green tickets total now let's slap these zombies okay i meshed up ay 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 aye. we can wall check here and they will not be able to hit us like that now they're a little bit extended i'm gonna get hit a lot Spankity spank. Already starting off very badly, but you can crouch attack them like so. Boom. Do the spank sound though. Kinda hitting hard. Okay, here we go. We got hammers. Let's heal up with berries. Heal up with berries. Boom. We got six green tickets. I mean, I could actually do second floor, but I don't know. I mean, I have to get logs too. Let's do second floor. Let's see how it goes. There's gonna be a lot of roaming zombies over here. The way we're gonna deal with them is pretty simple you need a long range weapon this is a long range katana works too but zombies have 40 hp so actually this is not gonna work guys we need spears for this well we can kill them easily like that boop and boop and then boop you need to be a little bit far away try to not be super close we have to like time the attack like that like that like that and you just stand and wait hey, actually hitting me let's go like that yeah this is better take your time you're gonna get a little bit of hits it's not good we're trying our best though we're trying our best to not get hit now, there's a floater bloater so i'm gonna try to not aggro that guy ain't no way i'm trying to aggro that guy okay boom 
Boom. Messed it up a little bit. It's actually hard. Like, you have to perfect the standing position. Like that. Okay, he's dead. This guy's 10 HP. Dead. Stand here. Attack. Attack. And one guy only, which I can wall check easily. Look at that. Boom. Boopity boppity. Dead. You get green ticket. Very nice. Level up soon. Level 16 clearing bunker alpha. Look at that. Uh, let me just show you. Look at that. Level 16. Oh my god. Definitely. Very crazy. Uh, now, let's go to the hard part, guys. And probably die. But hopefully not. We crouch here. I'm also gonna heal up. I don't think I can survive a frenzy giant hit, to be honest. But, um, we go over here. Nicely and calmly. Do not panic. Because... I did not bring my katana, so GG. We have to kill him with uh, paddle, I guess. That's how we roll, so. Smack this guy. That. Kill the fast biters. Frenzy Giant is gonna be behind the wall, so he's not gonna hit us. Don't worry about him. We leveled up, and I kind of wasted my heals because I leveled up, but uh, yeah. Let's take the Gluton. This is very good for healing with food, so we're taking that. Now we just kill the Frenzy Giant with the spear that we crafted. Just like that, baby, and just walk out and just hit him once. Go back in and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Try to not get hit because, I mean, if you get hit, bro, you ain't, you you gonna die, man. Also, don't try to crouch attack him because you're just risking to to to, to, to die, bruh. Yeah, this is how you kill frenzy giants. Don't use guns. Wall trick in, bruh. Wall trick is your new friend, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do it. There you go. Okay, moving on. Who cooks berries, guys? This is gonna take forever, man. 50 hits for dude. Like, this is how many it needs. Boy... We're almost there guys messed it up like it's super slow so you can easily attack him and just go back behind the wall boom He's dead you get 500 experience for killing a frenzy giant and you get a rare ticket that shines in good loot Look at that red ticket. It's bright very nice compared to green ticket like wh what is that? You can, you can see the m16 on that red ticket like that thing has the good juice Hey, yo, I'm telling you that 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 ticket guys the juice you need 30 of it, by the way, not one. You can't do anything with one, so... But we're gonna work our way up there, guys. Boom, we get pants. I mean, might as well wear that, so it's breaking. Problem is, I did not bring a katana, so it's gonna take a little bit longer, but I'm gonna crouch attack this guy with cleaver. Actually, no, with put, with, with, with the slapping thingy. And here, I think we can wall check him here. Like that. Did get hit, though. Okay, don't do this here. Just go here. This is the safest spot. Easy peasy. Do this, go behind the wall, repeat, rinse and repeat for every single zombie that you're gonna kill in this game. Literally, at this point, we're using spear. I brought logs for a reason, guys. Like 17 logs. I'm probably gonna craft even more spears. Of course I will. We're wall tricking every single zombie, bruh. There you go. Yellow ticket from that dude. Very nice. Now we're gonna do the very hard part because there's two zombies in here. So now we're gonna wall trick two zombies at the same time. Get him here and just wait till all these stack up over here. Now make sure they attack at the same time like that and just start wall tricking. Just like that, baby. Look at that. Very nice. Craft another spear. Like so. Equip and rinse and repeat, guys, until you lose your mind like I am. Very nice. And just like that, we have our first box of Bunker Alpha. I don't know what we're gonna get, but might get something. Let's check it out. Garbage. Might not even take that. Well, we got a spitter, and spitters do not spit in Bunker Alpha. I don't know why. They just don't. And they have 100 health. But yeah. Bamp bitty bamp, spank bitty spank, and dead. Take the yellow ticket it drops, and we're gonna level up soon. I'm trying to not heal and waste my food because we can level up. Here we got fast biter, and I might heal up a little bit, just a little bit. Then we kill this fast biter first, like that. Go behind the wall so we don't get hit. Go behind the wall, and this is what you can literally do. Look at that. The dude just literally walked in like that, and boom. Now we can kill him using the wall. He's not hitting me, and I'm able to hit him. Boom. Works ideally. Very nice. I'm missing a little bit. There. You need to sink in the spear. These guys attack super fast. So you gotta sink it in. But hey, you can loot this box without these guys seeing you. Don't have to crouch. Easiest yellow ticket. Easy. Easy peasy, bruh. Boom. We get two bandages. Now, what you wanna do is actually... Um... Go here. Now, I advise to crouch. I don't know if they will really see me. I think they will. Open up the door and... Gonna aggro him and run here. And now we're gonna do the same thing over and over. Should be able to... Nope, I'm not gonna do this here. I'm gonna go to the toilet instead. That should be better. Toilet room is big W for wall tricking. Best wall trick spot. 
Wait for them to attack at the same time. Go out. Do the same. Do the same. Over and over. I'm gonna heal up. I might as well. I'm not gonna level up anytime soon, actually. One is dead. It's a little bit easier to wall check one. Not like two. It's also very annoying to deal with two. But there you go. I mean, I can't even see him. So I'm like relying on the audio whenever they hit me. I'm on 18 HP. Oh my god. I'm gonna level up soon, though. Let's actually go around. Here we go, just like that. Open up. Okay, I might as well just heal up just a little bit. Pants are breaking. Hope the Fiji doesn't see me. So let's uh, crouch attack this guy with this thing. Okay, there we go. 180. Now, I could wall trick here, but this, as you can see, it's a messed up wall trick. So this is a good wall trick here. I'm gonna heal up a little bit more. So we just wall check them here. And it should work properly. Okay, no, it's not gonna work properly. My pants broke, by the way. The easiest wall check, I would say, is this toilet. So just go to the toilet. And rinse and repeat, guys. Get this guy over here so I can see them. I'm gonna heal up again. Make sure I don't mess up this time. Wait for them to attack at the same time. For some reason, they're not. There you go. Walk out, spank. Just like they're spanking me. But now I'm gonna spank them. Look at that. That is a perfect sink. Like, literally calculated. That is so one fun to watch, probably, guys. You're like, oh my god. Okay, one is dead. I have one more kill, and I'm able to level up now. And the last dude is 10 HP. Yoink. Level up. Now we can start healing up more. I mean, I've ran out of my berries at this point. We just need to hit the green zones more. Let's see what skill we get. You get hungry less. I mean, I'm gonna take the bruiser. So I have more HP now. 20 HP, you can have 120 max. But here's the thing. We're not gonna kill these two guys. They take so long to kill and I don't wanna do that. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uncrouch, crouch again. And we're just gonna crouch back just like that. And kill this dude over here. Get him back over here, just like that. Walk, 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 slowly and steady. Nice, get him closer to the wall, and now we can just literally, no, get him a little bit closer, just like that, yep, 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 and wall check him again, just like the last one, okay, the wall is a little bit tighter, there you go, just like that, baby, I mean, it's, it's kind of risky, riskier to wall check through this spot, I don't really know where the wall ends, but, uh, yeah, there you go, craft another spear, boopity bopity, let's go. I actually don't like this wall trick, but I mean, if I get hit once, I think I'm dead. I should just equip the tactical armor just to be safe here. This is safe forever, though. I'm, like, gonna end up playing this game till 6 a.m. or something. I mean, yeah, if you're a beginner at wall check, dude, just go to the toilet room. Toilet room is the best for wall checking. I'm struggling myself, too. I'm in panic mode right now. Like, if he hits me once, I'm dead. This guy does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. This guy is the deadliest zombie in Bunker Alpha. There you go. 50... Come on, miss. Don't stop missing. 40. And one more hit. And he's dead. Just like that. We got a hello ticket for that. That was not worth it. Fast batter. Let's try killing you like this. Like that. Should work properly. All you have to do is just move left. Oh, almost got hit. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh. Boop. Dead. No damage. Very nice. Okay, this part is going to be very hard. I don't know how we're going to do it. Uh, What we're going to do actually is try to aggro one. I mean, all of them. And then we're just going to run back very far away. Going to get a lot of damage. We're going to go back to the toilet. I mean, at, at this point, I could use guns because I don't have good weapons to crouch attack them. So let's go here. Now, why is this guy like that? I mean, I'm going to kill this guy first. There you go. Now I can like split them with the wall. I'm gonna deal with this guy like this, so using my cleaver. I'm gonna tank a little bit of damage. Now we can kill this guy easily. Easily. Use our spear again. Rinse and repeat, boys. Best wall trick for this spot is this the toilet room. The toilet room. Ladies and gents, all you need is logs. Well, I guess you can loot this box without the magroing you. And that's one green ticket. Very worth, I guess. Very nice. I need eight more for the green ticket crate. Same spot for these guys. I'm gonna crouch attack them with the paddle. Like that. I'm gonna have to tank them, actually. Kill them like so. Kill them like so. And dead. Now, I might use a medkit, but I don't have a medkit. Gonna heal with beans, get rid of the berries. I'm, I'm leveling up soon, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Let's open up and crouch. Paddle them again and again. 
Gonna get hit once. Get behind the wall. Same steps, boys. Just do this. Like that. Oh, yes. Perfect. You'd love to see it. There we go. It's done. Now, I'm not gonna do this room because screw that. Too annoying to deal with. We got green tickets again. 60 now. I win the gas. It does damage. Don't step in the gas. Okay, we're done. We're done with the second floor, kinda. This is the exit. Now I'm gonna do with the Frenzy Giant, obviously. Now we're gonna... I'm actually gonna grab a katana from the floor that I got. Let's do that, actually. I will literally have to do it again. Okay, let's take the katana now. I'm gonna crouch attack this guy and run away. Should be able to wall check here. Like that. Now you have to keep walking backwards over and over. So this is kind of risky here. I'm gonna do it anyways. So I'll check them here. Yeah, I can wall check them anywhere else, not just here. So, I mean, I could go outside and wall check them there near the exit, but I'm doing it here anyways. I have to craft a spear, so let's craft a spear. And boom, spear is inside. Boom. Very nice. And last guy's super easy because he doesn't move and he has enough range to stay in the room. It's gonna just chill in there. Look at that. Oh no, I got hit. That was a Fiji for dead guys. Game over. Almost. Boom. Leveled up. Very nice. Yellow tickets. Now you have to save the specialist, but uh, I'm gonna have to do bunker. I mean, anyways, again, so it doesn't really matter. So we got a quick step. You move faster in sneaking mode. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna take quick step. Might get good stuff. Might get garbage. We don't know. Boom. Tickets. Very nice. We need those. This guy will not see you. I mean, the other zombies will not aggro you. So now we just do the shame. Spear time, boys. Dude, the peasantry is amazing. Small tricking with spear is just amazing. I feel like using a fist is better, though. Why am I using spear? Guys, fists are better. Oh my god. Fists are actually better. Like, I'm getting hit a lot, though. Like here, you have to attack him from here already. Look at that, that is crazy. I'm messing up, dead. Okay, this part is gonna be a little bit hard. Bro, uh, I'm gonna stop using spears, guys. I'm literally gonna use just fists. So I don't think we can crouch attack him, but let's try. Let's go over here. Oh, actually, we can crouch attack him like that. So we have to deal with three fast batters only, which we're gonna aggro him and then run away. And we're gonna use... Uh, let's go over here, attack once, go behind the wall, attack once, go behind the wall, and just keep on repeating. Now they're in sync. Gonna be easier to attack them. Boom. Boom. And boom. Okay. Messing up a little bit. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go backwards, punch this guy to death. And let's go to the toilet room once again. Which is kind of far, but uh, it's worth it. This is the best wall changing spot for Fiji. I need three more green tickets. We're not gonna get that. So that wall is super, super wide to walk out. Yeah, this is su super good to wall check him here. Like I can stand here and he won't be able to hit me. The best wall here. Let's actually try punching him. At, at, at this point, I'm playing with death. I don't want to do it, guys. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's just a high risk for high da higher damage. I ain't doing that. Ain't no way, bruh. Let's punch him for the win. Just like that. He was about to smack me, bro. I could have died there, but uh, I was faster. Which I... Uh, uh, uh. Nah, hopefully we get enough green tickets for this. Okay, two. I need... Cannot open this. You need level two burglar for this. And we get aluminum wires. Now, this is going to be very important. So save this. It's going to be an end game item. And just save it. You'll need it. And tech fabric is made from cloth which you need this to turn it into thick fabric but we're getting it before we even have the bench to be honest so need lamps you'll need batteries so everything you get is important now i need to get the tickets how am i gonna get the green tickets to kill float and bloaters which i'm getting very lazy now so let's open this room boom you can stand here and instantly just wall trick them and just like that they won't be able to hit you i'm gonna sink them in now like that that's perfect sink 
and you just kill them. How amazing is that? Holy. It's very breaking. Full inventory, bro. Oh, yeah. You don't have to even kill this turret. You, can, you guys can just walk through it like this. Don't even have to crouch. Nothing. Boom. As well as you can go inside the room to kill the big one. Don't worry about it. He ain't coming out. I'm gonna try to do that um, over here, maybe. Rinse and repeat. I alt tapped for no reason. I'm not completely doing it, though, guys. I'm gonna log off soon. We're gonna continue this tomorrow, maybe. There we go. There we go. Gonna level up soon. Don't have to heal. And... Almost done. Dead. Yellow tickets. No green tickets. Okay, let's go to second floor. Third floor, I mean. Okay, here we are in third floor. Let's do this very quickly. We're doing this just for the... Tickets. So let's use Katana since I have it. This guy is gonna die and I'm gonna level up. Easy peasy. So we're gonna go over here too. Uh, dude, if I did not have this Katana, it does 35 damage. So it's very good for crouch tagging. It's gonna go here. Boom. They die. They don't drop anything too, sadly. I'm gonna kill this guy too. This will not work. Okay, it will work. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna use my hammer. Not working. Now it's working. Two hits. Hammer very good. Dead. One ticket. One red ticket. No green tickets. I mean, they're not gonna drop red tickets. Uh, green tickets. No way. Use a katana. Just like so. Green ticket? Yes. Last one is... This might not drop a red ticket. Uh, green ticket. Dude. Use Cleaver for this guy. I'm gonna kill him faster. Okay, nope. We did not get it. So now we do this part. Gather all of them. Go around. Let's leave this. Don't aggro the Fiji, though. That's gonna suck. There we go. Perfect. That is perfect. Now we can leave one and just kill one. I mean, these two will not be able to hit me, so look at that. None of them are able to hit me, bruh. None. Might die, though. Let's heal up. Ooh. One more hit. Now it's gonna be easier. Okay, it's actually not gonna be easier because it's targeting the wrong guy. There we go. That is perfect. My spear broke. They're not in sync. I don't like this. Way easier now, I mean. Like, dealing with two when they're not in sync, this is crazy. I mean, I might as well just craft another spear, but hey, I'm lazy. Here we go, green tickets, green tickets. We got them all, guys. 20, you need 20. Boom. Let's take that skill instead. Okay, let's open up the green crate. Okay, let's go over here. We got 10 yellow tickets, too. Open our first green crate, dude. First green crate. We are gonna get a lot of juice from this. Ooh, would you look at that. Engine part, a Glock, and a shovel. Oh my god. It's goodbye time now. Yeah, I'm about to leave, guys. Bye, y'all.